yes, 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 people. What's happening? What's crack What's going on? What's going on? Um, I know it's been a very long time. A very, very long time. It's been a long you know? time coming. How long would you say it's been? About over a year. God damn. What, for an episode? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, a year? No, no. It's been over the pandemic. Because we ain't really done anything since. Last thing we done was um, quarantine catch-up. Quarantine catch-up. Actually, no, we done another episode after that. Oh, you came uh, back? Yeah, we came back. Yeah, but that was never released as well, though. No, we, we wow. released two after that. Was it? Two episodes after that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, people, yeah, I'm a bit yeah, tired. Yeah, we're back, I, I've had work, so excuse the fact that I'm yawning right now and my eyes are like... Guys, just to full of viewers out yeah. there, we're letting you know that we will be posting consistently... <laughs> <laughs> at least hey, we've been saying that for the longest nah, time nah 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 it's no, a new era right now my favourite line is always yeah oh yeah it's been a minute it's, it's been, been a minute, minute. it's been yeah. a minute no yeah, fuck that minute. be a minute now nah. it's every at least two to three times a week yeah man yeah we yeah. want you to like subscribe share make sure you press that like button because that will help us a lot that will encourage us at least to just know that people are engaged. It's motivation. Yeah, man. It's, it's this podcast thing think, is not I easy. I think more than anything else, um, sometimes you, you you feel like if there isn't enough engagement, then you tend to kind of not be so interested in something. Um, but engagement in, 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 the, in the context of like what we're doing in it, podcasting. Mm. Um, but obviously, one, the reason why... All right, mate. Um, the reason why obviously we haven't been active on the podcast as well it's just mm -hmm. been you know we've we've had our own uh, little bits and pieces to deal with mm -hmm. you know the quarantine um, pandemic mm -hmm. we can't use that as an excuse anymore anyway um, but good. you know we're here we're sat now we're we're getting a, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get real comfortable mm -hmm. in these chairs and we're yeah. gonna be very consistent um, you know we've had a pep talk all of us um and we're gonna make sure not even for the sake of you guys the viewers just more so for us to just be committed and consistent with something that could eventually then you know help us move on and do better things with life as well just so that we know preach yeah 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 come on the and, and words also wisdom if, are back in the holy ghost right now come you on. hear me coughing don't don't even try corona i, I ain't got no vid Ain't caught this me. I just got a little sore from Congolese Corona. <laughs> <laughs> but boys, what's been going on, man? It's been it's been a while. It's been a while. I want to start with um with Aaron uh, with uh, Adrian or Mr. Mons. Yeah, mixed stuff. Yeah, both yeah. Asking. You're both. I know. Racist. That's what I'm saying. Racism, racism out here. God right, come on, man. Um, yeah, myself. You know, Mons. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I've just literally I've just been working, building. Oh, that's loud. Or was it? Yeah, um, building, planning. And, you know, just trying to get my stuff together to just, just like, you know, survive really and, you know, just be yeah, it's it's most client. Most, has it been work? Has it been, uh, I guess, all kind of just, just life? So work, yeah, look, work is normal. Yeah. You know, nine to five, yada, yada, yada. But um, me and one of my friends, a close friend of mine, um, we're starting a business together. It's a clothing brand. And literally... Tell the people what it's called. Geomons, it's coming out real soon. And basically what we've been doing is getting everything like just established yeah. by the name, by the finances, our team and everything like that. So we're literally just trying to get that in part, making sure that everything's proper already. Um, currently we got a creative director. Yeah. Um, she's currently doing our our clothing on digital. Yeah. And once that's all set in stone, yeah, straight to manufacture. You know, so yeah. that's yeah, that's what I've just been focusing on so far. You know, yeah, that's a cut you know? on team moment. Yeah, we don't want to just you know how people just oh, put a little logo on a t-shirt and just dash it out there. Yeah, no, we don't want to do. We just so you're you're proper getting into like design yeah, and designs and, and um, yeah. do you, do you want to understand um, you know material as well? Do you want to go out there and actually yeah. find? Um, um, actually go through the pipeline of producing, you know, from designing it to um, obviously um, getting it materialised and then getting samples. And, and do you know what? Yeah, I really thought it would be so simple, like setting stones, like, but I never knew, like, how 
much work you have to actually put into this before anything actually comes out. You know, sure. as you say, like going to these manufacturers, feeling the material, seeing if it's durable, how long it will last for, if the design makes sense, um, everything. Do you understand? So it's like, whew, that's a lot of work, man. Before even putting anything out. But but the um, the the learning process is yeah, it's amazing. second to none. Though. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You learn so much stuff. Yeah, man. I I think I think. Uh, well, as, learn your craft, people. Yeah, man. As like uh, as anyone who's you know creative or um, who's in that field of like production and whatnot, if you can learn as many of the skills as possible, you'd be a lot more useful to yourself in the long run. Mm. Like if you're obviously designing um you know clothes and whatnot if you can do two three four um of the steps then you know you're ahead of a lot of people because mm. a lot of people when they start something they need a lot of hand you know you know that term are oh, jack of all trades but master of none mm. um <coughs> but, you know being a jack of all trades is good in the field in in this day and age you know, to be able to do not just one thing, not two things, but a lot of different things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you're in a certain industry and um, as much as you can do, do it for you. And then obviously anything that you need to source out, source it out. In the beginning, obviously. In the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning, do as much as you can because you will save a lot of expenses. So if, you know, if you're, you know, you know pursuing this, at this venture, yeah. if you can do a lot of the, um, obviously I don't know how much of it you're doing, um, but if you can get involved with a lot of, of the production as well, yeah. design and whatnot, yeah. that will save like you. So, like so far it's just three of us. And then once everything is established, once every, the, the company starts to grow, that's when, you know, you know, hopefully it's just like, it blows up and we just employ more people and it just makes it like a big, enterprise a big chain big it's everything you know? yeah I, I was i was watching this um this video of um you know that there's a lot of different types of people on youtube a lot of people trying to teach things to you mm -hmm. as well as much as there's entertainment there's there's people out there who are actually giving you proper education on on certain things on business on, on entrepreneurial kind of I adventures and whatnot. On YouTube. yeah and um and he was basically, you know, talking about just kind of the valuing uh, of yourself and the, and the company and how much you should be charging and when you should be charging, you know. Mm. Um, there's there's a lot of information out there. Is This particular person especially, I've been watching him a lot. Yeah, what's um, his name? Um, I, I, can't, I don't remember his name, but he runs this platform called The Future without E at the, uh, at the okay. end. Okay. Um, and he gives like these really cool um, whiteboard lessons where he he goes through a certain topic, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know which ones were one, one of the ones I was watching. Um, I think it was. It was it was something to do with like how to grow your Instagram kind of th okay. kind of thing. Um, and then he was, he would like go into like depth, you know, certain people would be like, oh yeah, you know, you need to post this amount of, like, you know, the, the, the information is very washy washy, like, but he will give you a proper, like, you know, breakdown. this is, yeah, proper breakdown. Yeah. Um, he'd be like, you know, there was a point where I'll be so focused on like the quality of the post itself rather than just posting. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it would be like, you, you don't need to focus on like how perfect the post is it is for instagram instagram uh Listen, I've, I've, uh it's funny that you say that i've got my own instagram page machine gun funk night oh yeah yeah plug plug Go and, and i'm that. trying to push that myself and it's it's like obviously sammy he sent me uh some like uh pdf of a guideline of how to build your instagram page and yeah yeah you know the way to structure it and the 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 ways of using hashtags and how to get more followers in and it's 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 not easy man it's not easy man. it's not easy like i thought just posting pictures and videos <coughs> was hard enough like yeah. finding the content like this is all off head as well i'm i'm basically posting a 
90s, early 2000s, noughties. Uh, uh, your page is lit. Is lit. You like my page? I really like it. Always. always. Obviously, Flex, we're, we're, we're obviously, we're a bit more connected to it because we, we are... We understand the timeline. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know. I feel like anyone from that era will enjoy my page. Yeah. Um, but also the younger generation can enjoy it because maybe they haven't tuned in. Maybe they have older siblings. Who knows? But it's catered to everyone, I think. It's catered to everyone. It's, it's, but I'm really trying to build it to the point where I'll just get like... But yeah, with that as well, actually, what, 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 what are you trying to do with that? What, what's the plan for I'm that? trying to push that as far as I could go. I'm trying to b- create a brand from it. Is it the, the machine gun funk is part of my brand. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a very old school person myself, as you guys know already. Um, very nostalgic. Very nostalgic, man. I'm, I love nostalgia. Um, yeah, and I just want to push that. Obviously, at the DJing on top of that, the events, Machine Gun, Funk, 1990. Mm. So, tune in, people. And what about you? I'm almost, what have you been doing? What, oh, no, no, no. And also, check out KR Direct because I'm on that shit too. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, out. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, that's cool. Man. So, what about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you been up to, man? Been Bro, I've been, um, I've been, um, I went through a transition, man. This, um, okay. you know, um, it's been a very good. No, you're good. I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you perfectly still. Uh, but yeah, man, I've I've been going through a proper kind of career transition of recent. Um, from from um, I think December. Um, I basically quit everything in it. Um, mm. Yeah, man, the, the the day job and whatnot. So I'm dry elbows. Yeah, no, you're all right still. Yeah. But yeah, man, I, I'm at one because at one time you had like at least two to three jobs one time before. Bro, man, I you know yeah, like I was I was doing different things, man. I've been doing a lot of different things. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the last seven maybe years, I've been um, early on. Obviously, I was kind of getting into the groove of, of like filming and whatnot. Mm. Um, gradually, kind of progressing and learning and progressing and learning to a point now where I feel like. I felt like I was ready to just do it full time, innit? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, end of December, I just called it a quits, man. Like, I just was resigned from my old job. I was there for. Oh, How was that feeling, like, when you thought, I'm done now? I'm fully, I'm, I'm ready to put in both feet into this and go for it. Um, was there any sort of fear in the beginning? Not really, yeah. Because um, I've been wanting to do this from... I've been talking to you about... Yeah, yeah, of course. Cause yeah, but, but obviously the people... people obviously, they know, don't know yeah, that yeah, yeah. we be, go, <coughs> yeah. be having right now. But yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, for sure, but... For the viewers... That yeah, for, but my, my exit, I've been planning it for years. Mm. Um, I've always kind of had this um, ideal kind of thing that I wanted to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the filming thing was, was that. Um, um, kind of... It has been... It's been very. It's the it's the, I said at the beginning isn't it? and at the yeah. beginning of anything, it's like it's, not, it's, not it's a bit steady. like oof, no. oh, this is good. Oof, oh, this yeah. is okay. I can see it can get bad as well. Like yeah. mm. so, you're a bit of there's an unbalance there, isn't it? So I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? Still kind of appreciating all the experiences. The new and and mentally, how has it made you feel like you know? I'm so like, liberated now, man. You know, I'm so I feel so much better. Bro. I hate. I don't want to make this political, but I, I hate working in certain environments, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? I hate working in a lot of environments just that are catered to a lot of um, just weird individuals. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and, and like, you, 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 sorry to cut you off, but you must feel like so like relieved, like, look, I've got my own space. You know? Yeah, man, obviously... Um, yeah, so being here as well, the podcast studio now is running, alhamdulillah, like obviously. Guys, Boros. Boros Studio, Boros shout studio. Out at yeah. Boros Studios. Uh, yeah. studio. The studio. link will be in the description. Yeah, let me let me not downplay this place in it. Bro. Come on. We've got a studio here. It looks this good. Is, yeah, it's man. Good. This is our great. studio now. Yeah. Uh, which is why I'm, I'm that's which is why I'm <clears throat> I'm trying to push us to make sure we're as consistent as possible mm. from here onwards, isn't it? Um but yeah, man, um around April of this year, um, I managed to um, come into this space. Um, obviously, I've been working on it behind the scenes for 
a while and there was you know a few different kind of complications that I had to go through um but you know alhamdulillah we're here um and I've been running the podcast studio um from April so I quit the job in December um you know I did a bit of uh, jobs here and there at the time working with Spyro as well shouts out to Spyro you yeah, know Spyro Digital come on um so and then eventually I, 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 I you know I moved here kind of wanted to push <coughs> myself um and and pursue what I wanted to do as well um so yeah man it's been a really really fun ride um it's a journey man it's you a just journey. continue that journey you know how <coughs> the journey may end yeah but you gotta pursue what you actually want to do and like you've already got one life and you gotta go for it yeah you man you know stay at a place where static a, be, a stagnant being static, position yeah, but man. also just being in a position. i don't i don't want to go on go on finish up finish this up. guy loves cutting me off but sure, okay. we're back we're back baby <laughs> <laughs> oh i, I hate it that but yeah we're back let me let me grab my back i'm used to this guy cutting me off but um Nobody wants to be in a, a position where they're unhappy, they're not enjoying their job. You've, you've been in that mm. position many a mm. times mm. yourself. I have as well, but it's, it's just about you pursuing what you love and what you want to do. 100%. You've got one life, man. so go for it, man. 100%. That's for yeah. anyone that wants to do that or pursue anything that they want to do. Don't just think about it or dwell on it. Go for it. Yeah, man, I don't even want to come on this preacher thing, yeah? But nah, man. Bro. Like, I, I don't want to be no one's life coach or anything like that. We ain't yeah? trying to be life coaches, um, but we're talking We're not trying to be life coaches, but experience. you know what? It, it's, it's so important about, you know, like, going for, going for what you really want, manifesting your dreams, you know? Like, look, we've been away for such a long time, and now we're here. You Actually, you know what? On that subject, yeah? Yeah. Let's, let's keep on that. It's, um, about this this pursuit of happiness and dreaming it. Let's let's stay on that for a while because I want I, I want to really break into that because um, I feel like a lot of the reasons why we're unhappy now is a lot of us are doing things that we hate. Hundred percent. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can only you can only work for money for so long, bro. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You can only work for money for so long before you start to do. De deteriorate internally before you start to hate the things that you're doing every day yeah. even when when you're doing the things that you love and it becomes a job you start to hate it don't get it twisted which is why you need to do something that you love mm -hmm. so you can stick at it forever you know what i'm saying yeah. even through the thick and the thin which is you know which is why i say i think a lot of um a lot of our happiness is attached to um obviously in in the spectrum of like of adults like it, it depends on our careers isn't it mm -hmm. what we're doing what we're doing uh what we're waking up for in the morning uh what keeps us alive what keeps us ticking obviously you're sat here today um and you're tired mm -hmm. but you love teaching mm -hmm. you get me mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning and you'll you go into school and you're going to love those kids and you're going to love the, and you're going to teach those kids <coughs> i feel like it's, it's different with me like mm -mm. not every teacher loves teaching mm. and then we're doing it for the money mm. i like impacting a child's life like mm. you know like we're walking in the street because like mr a mr a yeah yeah some of them kids i've been taught in over like five six years and kids are so quick to like forget people as well so that's an achievement for me for them to shout me out in the street and still remember me mm. like i i even had a, a mask on the other day and I, I feel like this kid was in year six by this time. Mm. And uh, last time I told him he was like in year one or year two. So a couple of years now. And I walked past him. I thought, yeah, this guy don't even recognize me. So he's running towards me, trying to get the bus. So he's running towards me and he's like, oh, you're right, sir. And I was like, what? He did a sprint to just come and say hi to No, he was sprinting to get the bus. Okay. But he saw me and acknowledged me and he's like, mm. oh, you're right, sir. I was like, wow. That, that must feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It feels great, yeah. but it's like that's what I do it for. Yeah, man, I, you, I you impact it. a lot when you as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of fake influencers out there. But yeah. You are an influencer. Yeah, my well, yeah, my yeah. brother. Yeah, you're an influencer. Yeah. the term, you're a definition because mm -hmm. you're teaching, you're impacting people's young, impressionable kids' lives daily. Of course. So the teachings that you give them, the teachings that they learn experiences that they have from you the conversations that they have with you mm -hmm. if you have if you have those conversations you're going to impact a lot of kids bro a lot mm. of kids I you know what i'm like, saying um 
I always wanted to be the teacher that I loved. Uh, <clears throat> the person that got me into teaching was my college PE teacher. His name was Mr. Hall. And I never had no sort of thought of like teaching during college. Mm. And then when I saw him and come across him, I was like, I didn't know a teacher could be like this. Like, he was bantering me. Yeah, yeah. Grilling me. Like, loved Liverpool. He was a football fan as well. So we used to banter about football. Like, if Man United lost, you'll get on to me. Mad. But, like, he used to show me that love as well. Like, that, yeah, man. You're a young black man. And I care about my young black people. And I want to impact them in a positive way. And I want you to succeed in life like I have. And not go down the wrong road. Because a lot of people do. And... To this day, I still talk to him, man. That's and he good. always advises me. That's good. And it just became like a... Who's this? Is it that guy we saw at the, uh, Red Pitch? <coughs> no, but he's he's another he's one. He's one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. He's on me his, since his I was energy, His energy was good. That yeah, guy he, I've met. Yeah, yeah. Um, H. Shout yeah. out H, man. Red Pitch. Yeah, man. You know H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a legend, man. Legend. He's, H, uh, Kenny. He's, he's good energy. Those, those sort of people, I feel like if I didn't have them in my life... Obviously, I have a good family background, but... Mm. When you go outside, you can be led astray in a way. Like, you could be directed in the wrong direction. Facts. Without yourself even knowing. Because you're young, you're a child. So you just think, okay, this is just fun at this point. But then fun turns into, this is my life and this mm -hmm. is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then you get caught up in bullshit. But Fact. yeah, H, Kenny. Yeah, man. They're, they're, they're legends in my era. Because they saved a lot of lives through football. Yeah, man. And advising us. And it wasn't just football. They'll pull us aside. If they heard you was doing some nonsense in the era, they put you aside. Be like, yo, what's going on, man? Yeah, man. That's that's the kids, especially young men. I won't put color on it. Yeah, young men. Cause young men. I won't put color on it. Young men, young men, color on it. Well, yeah, yeah. Black, black, white, white Asian. White, Asian I think Everyone, young you're... men need. Bad uh, doesn't have a color. Bad doesn't have a color. Yeah. Good doesn't have a color. color no. Um, but young men need. Uh, 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 some sort of an influence and discipline. Yeah, they need influence around them. Good influence, people that will will, will, will teach them mm -hmm. the right things. That will speak to them. That will say the right things. Yeah. Um, like it's you as an adult now, when you're speaking to a child, yeah, you know the words to use to trigger certain things. Bro, how I'm talking now, I don't talk like this at work. Of course, I'm it's sure you won't. Persona, not to say I'm being fake, but there's a certain way you need to carry yourself mm -hmm. when you're teaching and when you're around children. So the way I speak to a child is totally different to how I'll speak to you or you. And my approach will be totally different. And you gotta break things down a certain way. Yeah, man. They don't understand everything. Facts. So you gotta break it down and be patient. That's one thing that teaching taught me is patience. Patience. That, yeah. That, and a lot of people don't have that. Yeah, man. I th I've, one of the, just going back on like influences, I feel like one of the main, I wanna say main, but one of the, one of the people that influenced me and I've, you know, I think it definitely had a proper, proper impact on my life, on mm. my behavior, on my discipline, on my outlook um, was, um, I don't know if you remember, but do you remember we had a boxing um, enrichment in school on Fridays? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. school? Yeah, and enrichment I always used Fridays, to go yeah. boxing. Do you remember the teacher's name? I can't remember. This is what I tell is black, bro. Because I know we had the DJs called Live Link. You guys used to do that stuff. Yeah. Innit? I, I went there to the whole DJ thing. You weren't feeling I wasn't feeling it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't music musically like yeah. in tune with, with what was going on. Yeah. I enjoyed music. I enjoyed mm. dancing. I enjoyed rhythm, whatever. But I wasn't going to be turning tables. No. Like, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? There was a lot of people that were good at it. I remember clearly. I remember Daniel. Uh, musical, musical D. musical D was a, was, <coughs> was a legend from school, bro. Well, he's a DJ he, he now. Yeah, he, I bro. think he's signed to um, DJ Rascal's um, label, Dirty Stank. Mad, bro. Yeah, bro. He's been yeah, active. Yeah. He was active in school. He was producing for mad names. Um, I'll, I'll we'll probably get on get him here eventually. But yeah, yeah. he um, um, he was one of the guys that was music. Like was when, you, when you when you said music, you were like musical D. He was, yeah. he was the, mm. like, if anyone mentioned music, he was a guy, bro. It's the equivalent for me of DJ Go. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. him as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, mm. uh, music classes were, were lit. Mm. 
music classes. So, so how did this guy impact you? Though? Sorry, yeah, I would drift it off. Yeah, good, going, good, 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 <laughs> good. Um, you could go in that way. Right? Yeah, we oh, go up the DJ's thing. Yeah, but um, he, um, the reason why I said uh, influence and the discipline, uh, the, the discipline comes in to um, um, getting involved in like sports mm -hmm. um, or, or something that enriches you, something that grows you, something that you fail in and you win in. <coughs> you know what I mean? That, I think, as a young man, mm -hmm. you need to win and you need to lose, more importantly, at a very young age yeah. so that then you can get over that mentality blockage or whatever it is that your vulnerable what, you self can go through. It's crazy that you've even come out and said this right now. Like, I'm very worried about a child. I can't say his name, obviously. I'm worried about a child that I, I teach. Mm -hmm. Super talented. Mm. I showed you him, actually. I think I showed you... He has an Instagram page, but yeah, he's had made an Instagram page for him. He's like a really good football player. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's at Crystal Palace right now. But a boy can't take losing. Okay. Anytime he loses, he cries. Mm. All the time. You turn him off, he'll cry. Very, very emotional, but he doesn't have that emotional support. His mom's not around. And his dad is very militant. So yeah emotional support yeah yeah and that, that's another thing as well like when when you have militant like parents yeah yeah, yeah. you be, you you really stiff up you stiffen up as some uh, as as a, as a person mm -hmm. in the way you 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 express yourself yeah, when yeah. when you know when when the influence around you is militant mm -hmm. it's no you can't feel like that yeah. you can't fail but that that's but that you can't feel like that, that and you can't makes fail. Or breaks a person, you know? huh? It either makes or breaks a person. Of course, bro. It doesn't always work. It doesn't work. Being militant with your ch or your children. I don't. I'm not gonna get into raising Parents, how to raise your yeah. kids. I ain't got. We don't kids. even have kids ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna teach you how to raise your kids. Raise your damn kids. Yeah, you know what? In in terms of um, saying about influence, like who influence? For me, I feel like outside of like. I would say my circle, I haven't had anyone in terms of who influenced me to be able to like think life differently or do this and do that. But I would say for me, my number one influence will be my mum. Mm. Mm. The reason why I say this is because I've seen this woman like work her ass off. She's had many businesses of doing well and failing at the same time, as well as looking after her kids. Mm. And it's like, I think to myself, Ra, like, how do you, how are you able to, even at the losses that you, you've taken on, how do you still go on? How do you continue thinking of a, of a next idea or um, like a new business plan? So me sitting down and watching, I was just analyzing my mom of the things that she was doing every single time, listening to her phone conversations that she was having. So that basically made me think to myself, look, you know what? You're going to have some losses, but your losses are going to teach you how to get W's again. Mm -hmm. Because without you losing, you're never going to learn. You can't just continue keep winning and winning and winning and expect you to learn something different. Exactly. Do you understand? Yeah. So yeah, for me, it was just like, look, you know what? As soon as I turned to a certain age, I was like, boom. Even like in school, mm. like I used to take we used to have a little um, off license. So when I used to go to the cash and carry with my mum, mm. I used to like get some Harry Roll sweets, yeah. slap them in my bag, go around schools. So they're 10 P I'm like, look, 20 P. And I'm thinking to myself, listen, you're never, you're not going to get these Harry Bros. You're not going to climb out of school. So mm -hmm. I got the Harry Bros. I'm the plug. Yeah. You want some sweets during your, your lesson? Come to me. So I started selling, 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 selling. And that's how I started. And I was just like, look, yeah. Hustler kid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Business minded, <laughs> man. But yeah, man. Um, that that particular teacher or, you know, properly influenced me because of um, you know, the sports I was doing and in the sports boxing it was non con non contact boxing, mm. which was just basically training. Yeah, pad work. Pad mm. work, shallow boxing, mm. a lot of drills, running up and down. Mm. You know the whole shebang without actually fighting someone, and mm. you know, and I love pad work. Pa, 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 pa. It was sick. Um, and he, you know, as much as we was doing physical 
activities, there was mm-hmm. conversations that were taking place mm-hmm. that was, you know, like leaving some imprints on me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He wasn't my father. He wasn't anyone that could potentially influence me outside of that. But the things that, you know, he did and he said um, made sense. And I'm really glad it made sense to me at that time yeah, yeah, yeah. because mm-hmm. it kept me, you know, um, like it kept me in check. Kept, I had like a mental kind of, uh, mental kind of, um, sorry. <laughs> so I was just bringing the mic up. Sorry. Yeah. So I had like a, yeah, I was saying like I already, I, my, I was aligned already. I wasn't, you know, I'm not, I'm not sit here saying I had my shit together at 15, 16 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had, um, had a better idea of like what you wanted to be, in what life. I wanted to be more, m- more even more so, just being able to control my emotions. Or was, was you a bit of a reckless kid? I wasn't reckless, but I needed. <coughs> yeah, I was. You know, I, I had a little little temper here. I was, you know, I'd, uh, I, f- I know I had a couple of fights here and there. But you know what? I would say that is really good because the children of today, especially like young children, you must see it all the mm-hmm. time, where. They are not able to express their, for example, their emotions or their anger mm-hmm. in a constructive way. So if you're putting a child like in a type of sports, like could be boxing or something like that, or Muay Thai, MMA, it's like it gives them like, you know what, this is my type of discipline. So mm-hmm. anytime I get angry, I can just channel that. Yeah. I'm not just going to aggressively try to attack someone or mm-hmm. cause myself some harm or something like that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these kids these days, you see it in social media. It's like, they will say reckless things. They will do reckless things. At least when we when we was young, we had some type of structure. Like, mm-hmm. you know, there's certain people you're not going to try and cross. But now, mm-hmm. these days, these kids will just go to anyone and be like, yeah. Like, I don't know if you've seen it on online. Where a dad must have taken his kids back to, like, I think it was Asda or something, mm-hmm. because two kids were on a bike and they were saying to the to the staff and people were shopping there, "Oh fuck you, I will slice up your mom. I'm gonna stab you when I come back. I'm gonna stab you up." I think I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. some seen white kid. Yeah, some white kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, his yeah. dad drags him down and he's like, "Apologize then." Apologize, <laughs> like, he brought him back from his yard. Mm. Yeah. He saw hey. the video. Yeah, he oh, saw, he the, saw the video. Yeah, he went video. around Facebook, everything. Mm, yeah, Literally. he said, you're so embarrassing the, me. You're embarrassing yeah. me, fam. <laughs> so, oh, wow. He saw a video. He saw the video and then they made another video. <laughs> of him. Apolog- yeah, apologize. Yeah. apologize. So what, did he apologize then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He apologized. Yeah. He was yeah. like, you're never going to come back here again. He was like, I'm sorry. I was just angry. You know what I'm saying? And it, obviously that's embarrassment for the parents and everything. Of course. You know what I'm saying? If that was me But now, bro, at the same time. First plane back to Africa, bro. Cannot always blame the parents. <coughs> you can't, nah, man, can't blame the parents. You can't, you can't always blame the parents because, bro, I've seen some real bad kids, mm. and the parents are great. But, but then like, the parents get, are great, but potentially the parents had a a lot of growing up to do. Maybe no, no, no. But because at the same you time, you tend to just pass your genes down to your kids. No, no, your no, kids no, are always this, this, this. an extension of you, uh, a more exaggerated or it's true. or it's less. True. It's true, but at the same time, some kids have it good at home. But they also want to experience the other life. Like, bro, what's I hear that's, that. That, that's interesting. This mm. is it's too nice over here. Mm. That hear looks that. a bit more entertaining to me. I hear that stuff. And bro, well, come on, how many people we've grown up with that they had no business getting involved in certain things? Yeah. Because their home life was just perfect and squeaky clean. But they wanted to be that bad boy because it was so interesting to them. So would would you say that? for a child like you need to let them experience certain things because it's like you know how you don't want your child to see this and this and this and this but the minute that you let them free or they reach a certain age mm, they they're gonna go wild out i think i think there's um there's ways of doing things you can't expose a child to too many things at a young age because mm. their mind's not ready for it and they don't understand certain things like i remember just watching um TV with my dad when I was a kid. I'm thinking back to it now makes me laugh because like, let's just say uh, <coughs> it'll be a scene where you know that scene is leading to sex. So they'll just start kissing. And my dad would just change the channel. I wouldn't even say nothing. He wouldn't even say nothing to me. Yeah. And then he'll put it back and that scene's done. 
But then now I think about it, he was protecting me from seeing all them sexual things. I know to say it's like a code. Brain. It's like a code. Everyone knows in the room. Like no, no one questions. No, no, no. I didn't question it, but I knew. Okay, maybe something's about to happen, and it's leading to something that I'm not meant to see. Yeah. So that's why he's changed it. You know when you used to when you used to watch like certain programs. Yeah. And like a sex scene came on. Did you used to turn it down? I'll change the channel if I had the remote. Don't chat shit, bro. No, what, with you, my parents in the room. Obviously, no, not with your parents, room. but just in the. In oh, the oh, oh, okay. This is when I'm a bit older now because those sort of shows are coming on a bit later. I had mm. a bedtime. <coughs> I remember, I have older siblings, so I used to get sent to bed about eight thirty, nine. Mm. Mostly, my brother would send me to bed. Mm. So even then, I would try and come down and be like, "Yeah, I'm thirsty." <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to. You know, <laughs> you know, that annoying little brother would be yeah, coming yeah. out for any excuse. Just coming back he, he, This guy would never open the door. Never opens the door. You hear the door. Uh, you hear a still, scratch. You come to the like, door. Still, people are turning it down to like you know level one, so you can still. Bro, hear no, bro, let me tell you. Let me tell you my yeah. technique. And I'll come down and say, "Like I'm thirsty," so my dad. He'll be like, all right, cool, come sit down. And bro will be looking at me like, this is a little punk ass. So I'm taking my sip of a drink. Like, You're so drinking much. like a cat right I'm, now. I'm, I'm looking at the TV <laughs> and what they're watching. Like, hey, everyone's laughing. I'm getting involved. Like, ah, yeah, yeah. I'm involved, <laughs> innit? Mm -hmm. To the point where he'll turn to me and be like, isn't that drink finished? <laughs> I've been sipping that for a long while, you know? Yeah, it's a long but time. But just those little things, man, protecting me from uh, certain things and... Obviously, internet wasn't about like that back then. But I feel like even if internet was about, I would have been obviously child luck and all these passwords would have been on my on my what, stuff. What internet did you have back in the day? <sighs> Bro, there was some. I had the dial up. Dial -up oh my god, the dial up. Well, dial -up. Yeah, I didn't, you know what? I had internet quite late, to be honest. Fuck. I had internet quite late, like mid secondary school. It wasn't early secondary. Man. But internet wasn't really a thing. Until like was in that year nine years. If you had internet, it was on something. Yeah, it, it was it wasn't the, the the thing to brag about because yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah, that yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You could you could be on like MSN or whatnot. I feel like I, okay, I'll take it back. MSN it was it was quite cool. It's quite cool. <laughs> MSN was lit. It, yeah, lit. yeah, it was MSN quite was cool. Lit. But it wasn't like oh wow, like you're doing Listen, something cool. There will, there will be times yeah, if your brethren you knew had MSN, you'd be like, Mom, I'm going to his house. Like oh, you yeah, go, yeah, you go to your brother's house just to I go, used to go to Toby's MSN. house to go on MSN. Yeah, go to MSN and, and talk then... to girls on MSN. Yeah, but that was that was it. There was nothing else for us to do on on in the well, time. Yeah, the issue was even about like that. And when we were growing up, MySpace, MySpace, MySpace. I used to get. Oh, I used to, I used to, I used to all, add girls. That was on all MySpace. later. This yeah. is my technique. I used to add girls on MySpace, <laughs> DM them. Yeah, we talk, 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 talk. But have you got MSN? Cool, MSN. Then we move over to MSN. At least I didn't even have internet like that. So I'm going internet cap. Oh shit, you're right. I'm going internet cap. I'm like, boss, is that. Um, he's like, oh, obviously, you give your 50p to boss, man. And boss, I'm like, hey, um, number nine. I was like, oh, what? Does, <coughs> number, does number nine have webcam, though? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's funny. So if I'm going to talk to a girl, she says, come mm. on, webcam. Yeah, yeah. Yo. I'm ready. And, and you're there, your little cubicle, yo, yeah, yeah. with your headphones on. I'm just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. And you know what used to take the piss? Like, because let's say you give 50p. What's 50p? An hour or half an hour? I think 50p back then was an hour. Hour? Yeah. You're, even you're chatting and everything, you're still watching the, the time. The time you're like, like, oh, yo, I got 20 minutes. five minutes left. Yo! I got five the minutes. pressure's on. Time to go, like. Yeah, man. No, good old, good old days, but. Good yeah, old days, man. man. Yeah, man. We, um, good old days. But we said, we said all of that to say, you know, you need, you need good influence around you. You need discipline. And guidance. You know, and guidance. And guidance in it. But. Uh, moving on to something a bit more serious and current events. Um, it's Black History Month. Obviously, October. Black History Month. Mm. Um, yeah. Stand proud, like people. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Mm.